Man, oh man, what's going on my friends? It's your man Adam A. Spencer here with another TaskRabbit video. And today's video is not only geared towards my people on TaskRabbit. It, it's, I mean, it's heavily focused on it, but ultimately if you are self-employed, if you are an independent contractor, if you are a sole proprietor or a small business owner, a freelancer, well, you absolutely should consider checking out this video because today we are diving into general liability insurance and of course you guys know this channel is all about making managing and growing money and within that managing you know area includes protecting your money you got to protect your hard-earned money and one way you are going to want to consider going about protecting your hard-earned money is with general liability insurance especially if you are here on TaskRabbit, because after all, TaskRabbit doesn't actually have insurance to help cover you if there is an accident. You are responsible for that accident. So we're going to dive into general liability insurance, why you should consider having it and what exactly it is and how you can go about getting it. But before we do, if you haven't already liked this video, it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And it also lets me know that you guys enjoy and appreciate this type of video content. After that, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So then you can stay up to date on all of our latest and upcoming video content. So first and foremost, we are here on the TaskRabbit website. And the question is, what kind of insurance does TaskRabbit offer? TaskRabbit does not insure or provide insurance against any losses sustained by users. That said, TaskRabbit wants users to be happy about their experience and the happiness pledge is in place to encourage continued use of the TaskRabbit platform. If users fail to resolve an issue between themselves, TaskRabbit may offer certain reimbursements in its discretion on a case-by-case -case basis. And then it says, please see the happiness pledge applicable to your country for details. If you carry insurance, that would cover you in the event of a claim, including but not limited to renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, medical insurance, or an umbrella policy. You must seek compensation for losses from your personal insurance prior to seeking compensation by way of the happiness pledge. And lastly, it says the happiness pledge will only compensate for losses to the extent not otherwise covered by your personal insurance. In addition, all complaints must be submitted within 14 days of the occurrence of the task giving rise to the claim. So what exactly is the happiness pledge? Well, let's jump over to the TaskRabbit happiness pledge, which it says TaskRabbit has a happiness pledge as part of our terms of service, as we care deeply about your experience on the platform. Depending on the circumstances of the incident, the happiness pledge may be available to assist with property damage, theft, or bodily injury incurred during the performance of a task. You know, the happiness pledge will only compensate for losses to the extent not otherwise covered by your personal insurance. In addition, all complaints, we just read that 14 days and your use of the TaskRabbit platform in a country other than the country in which you register constitutes uh, your acceptance of the agreement, blah, 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 blah. Ultimately, they're saying, hey, the happiness pledge may be available to assist with property damage, theft or bodily injury, but it's not guaranteed. It might be available but it's not guaranteed. And as they mentioned, it will be something they will potentially help you, but they're going to really evaluate it on a case by case basis. But when it's all said and done, TaskRabbit does not insure or provide insurance. That said, you, my friend, as a tasker, as the independent contractor, as the sole proprietor, as the business owner, you are responsible for any potential damage or accidents that might arise while you are on the job, meaning you're moving a couch and you happen to slip and drop the couch and then the couch goes flying down the stairs it hits some nice fine china and breaks this that and the other well task rabbit isn't responsible for reimbursing the customer for all of those repairs and everything broken you are responsible for that yes you as the tasker are responsible for paying the customer. That said, the happiness pledge does work. It is legit. TaskRabbit does want to try to keep everyone happy. And I can say from a personal experience that when I first kind of got on TaskRabbit, there was an accident. It was on a job. I was actually with Nicholas T. I mentioned Nicholas all the time now. And uh, we were moving a couch through like a tiny, we're trying to move it through a tiny 
tight doorway and um the customer's like just push it i don't really care just push it all you got and we're pushing pushing and my whole back shoulder blade went into the side wall that was like behind me and they you know they understood like it was like we were literally trying to shove this thing through a, a like it just wasn't gonna fit. It wasn't happening. The customer understood. They weren't too ups. They weren't really upset or anything. If anything, I was upset because it was like the first time you know an accident had happened under my watch and stuff. And I just was kind of like I had a squeaky clean record. I thought she was gonna be upset and give me like one star. And you know I still got five stars from her. I think she might have still even not. Nah, she definitely didn't tip. You know ultimately TaskRabbit resolved that situation. But I think the way they did it, I can't remember exactly how they like how they did it, but she was satisfied. She was happy. And, you know, and it worked out where it didn't come out of my pocket in that particular situation. Now I did have another incident where I kept TaskRabbit out of the mix and I took care of it. I resolved the situation with the customer myself. You know, the reason I did that is because I'm not too sure what TaskRabbit has in place on the back end where they're keeping tally of, you know, maybe complaints or accidents, different things like that. So I'm like, hey, if it's something where I can resolve it as this, as TaskRabbit suggests on their website, if the two individual users, meaning the, the tasker and the customer can resolve it on their own, well then try to do so. And if, you know, yeah, I, I came out of my pocket, lost a little money in the situ in that incident, you know, not happy losing money, but the customer's happy. I was able to still deliver and perform the job and they were satisfied when it was all said and done. That's really what it's all about. But if there is a situation where, again, you drop something heavy, you break something, and maybe it's a, it's a little expensive, it's more costly than, you know, $20 or $40. Well, that's where you want to consider getting general liability insurance. So there are two different options that, you know, I'm familiar with that have kind of picked up more attention over the past few years and uh, that are available most places. Um, not not all of their option uh, coverage is available everywhere in every state, but for the most part, Next Insurance and then Thimble Insurance. And really quickly, I wanted to just dive into general liability insurance specifically because this is what I think, you know, and of course this isn't legal or financial advice, but ultimately this is what I kind of think and suggest if you are on TaskRabbit that you pretty much at least have general liability insurance, if not additional coverage, but this is like the minimum that I usually suggest because you you just want the the, the core foundation protected again. It's your hard earned money that, you know, would be liable and on the chopping block if someone decided to go after you because of an accident that happened on a job that you were uh, responsible for and working. So really quickly, what exactly is general liability insurance? General liability is the most essential insurance for your business. General liability insurance, also referred to as commercial general liability, CGL, insurance or business liability insurance, protects a business against the risk of accidents like bodily injury and property damage that happen to a third party. If you don't have it and something happens while you're on the job, one big claim could put you out of business. With general liability insurance, you'll have the protection you need to stay focused on building your business. So what exactly does general liability cover? Bodily injury. And it says, should a client injure themselves while visiting your workplace, you can be liable for the medical expenses as well as pain and suffering. And then most importantly for us, for the most part, is going to be the property damage. You may visit your client's home to perform your services. Should you damage their property during the course of your work, you could be responsible for replacing or repairing the damaged property could be incredibly expensive depending on what it is what it is that you might have broken you don't want to come out of pocket and then also personal and advertising injury a part of your job involves advertising your company to grow the business should one of your rivals claim that your advertisement damaged their reputation you could be liable for defamation so like i mentioned the core the main feature that's usually included with a general liability coverage that is going to be most beneficial for most taskers, for most of you guys out there who are watching this, that I, why I suggest this is because of the property damage. This is usually what we are, you know, us taskers, we're on someone's uh, property, we're in their house or uh, um, place of business. And that is where you potentially could have some kind of accident. But also, I mean, this is a good point. With bodily injury, someone might trip over your tool bag and then they break their leg. What happens then? You're coming out of pocket? No, you don't want to. That's where having general liability insurance is going to 
help you. Same down, same thing over here. Someone gets injured on site and asks you to pay for medical expenses. Mm -mm, I ain't done with all that. That's why I got general liability insurance. <laughs> so, hey, two different options that are available for you guys. Like I mentioned, Next Insurance and Thimble Insurance. And they both really, I mean, general liability insurance with Thimble can get it in about 60 seconds. I'll give you a quote. And same thing with uh, Next. You can pretty much get a quote within seconds, within minutes. I do have insurance. I'll, I'll let you guys all know right off the rip. I actually, my insurance is with Next. Um, but I, I don't think there's any complaints or any issues with Thimble. I've only heard good things. The only reason I have Next over Thimble is because I came across Next first, to be completely transparent. But I would consider checking them both out, just coming and hitting the get instant quote, doing it on both, see which might be cheaper for you, um, see if there's any little components of their coverage that makes more sense for you that might be part of one or isn't part of the other. You know, and uh, yeah, get the ball rolling, my friends. Get your insurance so that you can at least try to protect yourself. And the the one key thing I want to throw out there is that being self-employed, being a small business owner, being a freelancer, independent contractor, part of this gig economy, well, these are business expenses. So essentially, this is something that you can write off. You can have this go towards your taxes. So oftentimes people, you know, I get it. If you're just starting off, you're just starting to get the ball rolling. You're like, eh, I don't want to come out of pocket for this thing that I'm probably not even going to need. Okay, maybe. But if you do need it, it's going to be a lifesaver. If there's a big accident where you're on the job, maybe you're, you're cleaning, you do cleaning or plumbing or something, there's water leak, something that you, you left water running. I don't know, whatever it might be, it can be incredibly expensive and you do not want to come out of pocket. So pay the small fees that you got to pay for insurance. That extra layer of protection will be, I mean, it's worth it. Okay. It's worth it. But like I said, remember, this is a write-off. This is going towards your business. So you can deduct the uh, costs that you pay every month. Mm -hmm. Of course, this isn't legal or financial advice, but just another tasker, another self-employed individual, another small business owner looking out for my people out there. So on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you guys have any thoughts, any comments, any suggestions, um, are you currently with Thimble? Are you work with, uh, do you, or do you have Next? How has your experience gone? Have you had to actually call them up and rely on using using either one of them? Maybe it was a bad experience and you went to the other company. Maybe not. Let us know. Leave a comment down below. It would be helpful for not only myself, I'm, I'm curious to know, but also other people out there who are interested in getting general liability insurance and considering Thimble or Next. And like I said, my friends, if you haven't already, like this video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know you guys enjoy and appreciate this video content. After that, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Then you can stay up to date on all of my latest and upcoming video content. But all right, my friends, you already know I got to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.